Hello and welcome to lesson number four in digital audio production using Adobe Audition. Before we get started, I want to thank the good people at Voices.com for various plugs they've given me and these tutorials, especially their social media manager and marketing genius, Ashley Rose Hall. Thanks, Ashley. Now, let's get started with lesson number four. Let's add music to a voiceover. Here's our music bed. It's something I created, a 30-second music bed. We call it a bed because it goes underneath the voiceover. We lay the voiceover on the bed. All right? That's my explanation anyway. All right, here's the music bed, and I've uh, got a 30-second piece here, and here is the voiceover. We need to place both of these in a multi-track session. How do we get there? Well, there are a few ways. You could use the drop-down menu. There it is, multi-track view. Let's get back there. You could also use the keyboard shortcut, and that's the function key F12. All right, so we need to get our music bed and drag it. Left click on the mouse, drag it in. That's one way to do it anyway. And right click to drag it over to the beginning. Okay. Now we need the voice track. Left click, drag, and boom. There it is. Now we need to place it just right so it matches what I intend to do with the music here. And I can see here that I wanted this to come after this part of the voice track. So I'm going to drag it with that right button on the mouse. Hold it down and drag. There we go. And I wanted this to happen at that point in the voice track. Now let me test those areas. Perfect. Good, good, good. Then in That's where I was heading. All right, I know you couldn't hear that, but you will hear the entire mix in just a bit. Let's mix it down. Again, there are several ways to do that. Uh, you could go to Edit on the uh, drop-down menu. Mix down to New File. Master Output in Session, Stereo, or you could do a mono if you like. Another way to do it is a keyboard shortcut that I created, a custom keyboard shortcut, and that's the letter M on your keyboard. Boom. There you go. And there's your mix. Want to hear it? I'll do better than that. I'll let you see the movie trailer with the audio mixed in. It was the perfect little town. Almost too perfect. Flawlessly manicured lawns. White picket fences. Happy and caring neighbors in middle America. Then, in the middle of the night, an accidental visitor. Now, once again, my tips center around the way I prefer to do things with audio. Others may have different preferences, and you may find, as you play around with the bells and whistles, that you have other ways of doing things as well. Whatever works, right? Thanks for stopping by the studio, and I hope to see you back for our next lesson. And please check out the previous lessons on my YouTube page at Scooter's Voice.